Alright guys, um, let's see, I got them all done, <clears throat> what a prick, a blaze, oh that first one was freaking easy, first one's the one that don't get hit by nothing, that was the one that sits on the right side of the rider, my last one took me over in a half an hour to get the blade to straighten out. This is a good one I showed you guys. Yeah, that's the good one I showed you. The jump blades way over there. Then you guys are gonna say, "Hey, why don't you just go buy a new um, blades?" Well, <laughs> you guys don't want to know the truth. We'll just put it this way. I swear to God, if I hit one more thing with this rider. I want to make sure that sucker can fly right into somebody. And I hope it sticks good. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the bad side of me. I shouldn't be saying that about people. But I'm really sick of them driving this yard. I get the worst end of the deal. I get where everybody drive. Well, I shouldn't say everybody. I should say a certain person drives all the time on my yard. Or the other person decides to take his John Deere and decides to trench in our yard. Well, neither say that crap ain't happening no more, guys. So until the day that they quit using my yard as a driveway, I'll get new blades. But until then, I'll just keep on running these jump blades because there ain't going to be no sense to put a 75 to to $100 set of blades on this rider until they figure out what they're going to do. So, further ado, let's get my butt underneath this rider. <laughs> And let's get the blades off. Um, I'm trying to figure out what blade I had. You guys see what I'm doing? I'm help my back you guys up a little bit. There you go. So that's how I feel about the situation right now, guys. That's literally how I feel. Now, is that a good thing I feel that way? Not really. You should never feel like that about any anybody or anything. Well, you guys can now see, this rider does not have, or this motor duct does not have any, any gussets in it. Whoever had this right, this mower deck took them out. And I don't know how old this deck. This deck's probably seen a lot of people. It's had a lot of repairs done to this deck. I want to build one. I've been thinking about building one. So, it's been my goal to build one. I should go get and I do have new hardware. I'm not even going to reuse the old ones. And that. It's getting ready to go. Probably next year I'll be ordering some more parts for this. Oh yeah, that's better. I need to get some grease and lube these threads up. But I'm being too lazy to do that part. Not hard, I just gotta get off my butt and go get it. Yeah. It's sitting right here. Let's use some water to put. Let's use some water displacement 40. If you guys ever wonder what WD 40 stands for, it's water displacement temp 40. It took them 40 temps to make it, so they use WD 40. Never thought of that, guys. Well, that was kind of a unique, catchy uh, name. 
Yeah, those threads are shot. They're stretching. So next year I'll be putting. Yep, yeah, I better be getting ready to put brand new spindles on this next year. So, what I should do is get you guys off the camera. Get you guys off my camera, okay? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes no sense, guys. I need to get you guys get the blade off from where you guys are at and head over to this one, the center blade, because you want to match all of your blades to your center. If that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, guys. I think I'm just talking out of my ass like somebody tells me on on YouTube all the time that I don't know shit. That I'm fucking retarded. <sighs> yep, so I'm gonna get you guys set up over here. Ooh, I think. Right there. Yeah, you guys see what I'm doing. So let's get this guy. Mount it. New washer. Oh yeah, that's right. These washers have to be homed out. Cause I didn't want a sloppy washer. I hate sloppies. Hate sloppy suckets. Alright, be back in a second. Alright guys. Let's see if I set you guys back up. Alright, what I was saying is, uh, when they stamp these out, they're actually oversized, so a three-quarter inch shaft is what these are. A three-quarter inch washer is a lot of slop. Now, if you guys grab a seven-eighths, home it out to a three-quarters, it won't be sloppy. And that's tighter than a regular three-quarter inch washer. It's tighter than, I believe, the factories. Or actually, I don't even think this rider is fa has factory nut. See how sloppy that is? You guys can see how much slop is in that washer. And there's very little on that washer. And that's what you want. A little bit of slop, but not too much. You don't want it so tight where you can't get it on. And by the way, if you guys don't know how your blades go on, always your lift ears go towards your deck. And actually, that's a thicker nut. Yeah, it is. Much thicker. Shit. Oh well, we'll make her do. What it is, we'll make her do. Yes, I'm using a hitch ball wrench. It's the only inch and one eighth I have right now, guys. So sue me. Ah, feels tight. Now you want to bring your shaft over. I'm not too sure what you guys can see. Blade over, here's your other shaft. Now you want to get this up. And I'll be god darned. That blade is not that far off. Hair, if we want to say a hair off, I'm not even going to worry about spacing it down. But it's going to run like that. So I got to make another washer. 
So we're only here off, which is good. Very good, guys. If your blades are off, then your cut's going to be off. And you don't want to, your cut. You don't want your lawn to be cutting uneven. And the way you can tell. Have a straight edge with me. Yeah, the hair off, I mean, it's very minute. You're not going to see it in the grass. So I had to get another one ground and we'll get this one put on. Back a minute. Alright, we're back. Got my washer. Nice. Snug fit. Not too tight, not too loose. Alright, we'll get the blade, the washer, the nut. And I usually line my blades up together. I don't know why I do it, but it's always been a habit. Now that's strange, that's an inch. Oh, an inch and one sixteenth. Ha! I wonder why I don't fit it. That is damn good right there. I would have mauled the blade under it, but yep, it's broke. The keyway's broke. So, how does my life be? One after another, after another thing around here. Well, my life kind of sucks. So, that is pretty much. Oh yeah, inch one sixteenth, one eighth. I didn't grab the one eighth, but yeah, that's my life, guys. That's my life. That is a little bit of back history. Now you guys are wondering where did the computers come from? Computers came from uh, when I was eighteen. Got in. I started eighteen, nineteen around there. I got interested in computers. But that never fancied me. Oh, I know what I want to do while, while the deck is fucked. I'm going to show you guys how to unbend sheet metal. You guys are going to say, what? We don't want to see unbend sheet metal. Well, a lot of you guys don't know how to fix, how to straighten out the deck. And I know you guys want to probably see. I know you guys are just going to stare at the tripod. But it'll be alright. You guys are... I want to show you guys something on these mower decks. I want to show you how fucked up my neighbors do to my rider, guys. This is why I don't own anything nice when I'm doing my side yard. And they just pretty much go to hell. I think I've said that enough in this video. I think I've ran it enough. I think my life be, is going to be over with now. You see that, guys? See that idling wheel right there? Or that Dolby wheel? You see how it's got that nice, long, deep... There you go. See how it's opened? You see how it's slant it down? Now let me get you guys to look at this on an angle. Yeah, you can't see it. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Well, that wheel is bent down. Because that's a root that I keep on hitting with that uh, knuckle, right, that uh, wheel right there. I keep on hitting the uh, roots in our yard to the freaking neighbors. Neighbor, I should say. And I don't think I got my big boy out. Crap. 
Yeah, I don't have my big boy. I don't know where he's at right now. Uh, let's use a claw, claw hammer. But I want to show you guys how much damage these morons do to my ride. And this ain't for me guys, this is from the asshole. Now watch this sucker move. And that's about dead perfect, guys. You guys can probably see how much that came up. Yeah. Trying not to bend it too much. gonna hold like that forever but that is perfect guys just gotta find the big hammer and beat it back straight um I think I have another spot over here that needs to be done yeah that one's perfect yeah this one's great I just got this right here to take care of gotta bend that weld that back shut because that's where the root grab hold of it one day and weld that hole shut. But that's a later date. So that's a much later date, guys. Um, so all I'm going to do, this is going to probably be part two of the last part. Maybe part one, part two, I don't know. It just depends what I'm up to. So, oh, and I got, and yeah, say one part one or part two depends on when I edit that first part and we'll see how long it is. I'm trying to keep them about 20 minutes. So that's what I'm up to guys. Um, can't do anything now. The store is closed while well, we're I gotta get the part. And I don't feel like running uptown anyways. If even if they're still open, I don't know what time it is. So that's what I'm up to. Fixing freaking bullshit from neighbors. Ooh, get an angle. So Catch you guys on the long run. I'll catch you guys when I get the park. Catch you. See ya.